Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video. I know this is like a really weird um, video for me to make, but this is actually my um, thoughts on the Mezco upcoming Godzilla products that they have, because they actually have quite a bit. I'm going to be kind of going through all of them, uh, well, ones that at least I don't have. Now, do keep in mind that these are not reviews. These are just simply my thoughts on these upcoming products, judging from their prototype, promo pictures, and etc. So the first one we have here today is the 5.XL Mothra vs. Godzilla 1964 Mothra and Shinobi Twins box set. Now, this is, from what I know, a just a Mezco online exclusive. And basically, it features the two Shinobi Twins, um, aka the Mothra Twins, and it shows uh, them in the box that they were uh, held captive in, in the movie. And of course, Godzilla's not the set, so they have to put a disclaimer. This is the 68 Godzilla, um, closest thing they had to a 64 Godzilla, so that's why it looks like this. Um, but I think what the main appeal is going to be is actually this Mothra figure, because the Destroy All Monster set uses a larva Mothra, obviously. Uh, Mothra features a flocked body and artic an articulated head and wings. Uh, let's see. So, Godzilla not included in the set. Uh, the Shinobi Twins featured block shoulder capes and head dresses. And it basically comes with everything you see here. So this is a wonderful display. Um, am I going to get this? Honestly, I'm really on the fence about this set. Now, there's a, t there's a variety of different reasons, but I'm going to go over the big two. The big t uh, the number one, this is going to sound really, really weird. But I've never been a fan of human figures. Now, I know that sounds really weird to say, but, you know, I guess it's just as a kid, whenever I'd get human figures, I'd never play with them. I never liked it. I always found it creepy when you try to plaster a human face onto plastic. That's why I was never really into, like, any of the um, realistic uh, human-style figures. Um, and the only thing, the closest thing I have right now to that is actually the Mezco, um, Andaro figure that came with the King Kong of Skull Island, but even then she's, like, tucked away in, like, a little baggy, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing, and I just have the Kong just kind of looking cool on the shelf. That being said, considering the fact that these two are not really accessories, but literally part of the main pack... I really don't know what um, what to say. I mean, they definitely look great. They look cool. It's just, again, I was never really a fan of human-style figures and, like, trying to literally put an actual human face onto plastic. It just doesn't look right to me. And although the flocked material looks great and Mothra herself looks great, I'm probably just going to end up buying the Mothra individual because I know a lot of people like to do that. They like to take figures out of the Mezco sets and display just put them on sale on eBay, but I mean, if I'm going to pay the price, I might as well just pay the full thing. Um, and also, another thing is the price. You have $60 already, which is already kind of asking for much, considering the fact that all this just comes with is Mothra and her sh uh, Shinobi twins, and I know it comes with like a buttload of accessories, but the exclusive Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah box set was $50. And not to mention, uh, there seems to be an... Uh, NRD required, which is a, another $15. A non-refundable deposit of $15 per item is due today and will be charged for this. So, like, basically, I, I don't exactly know what this means, but I'm guessing that you have to pay another $15 just to be on the wait list or something? I don't, I don't really know. Um, so, basically, that's like, I, I probably sound like an idiot right now, and I probably am, but you have to pay $75 if this is actually what it is. Already the 60s kind of sanding it, but this is like full-on grading it, so is it a pass for me? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's new, it's interesting, but then again, that price, hmm. I mean, 80 bucks, yeah, the Destroy All Monsters set was cool, but you get four figures with that per pack. 
This only really comes with three, and even then, two aren't even monsters. And we all really buy Godzilla stuff for the monsters, not necessarily humans. Although it is nice to see the uh, Shinobi Twins finally getting some figure action. Toho at the pitch executives were probably like, Oh wow, a company wants to do um, some human figures, alright, give it a shot. So, I'm a bit on the fence with this still. I'll probably have to see some more um, reviews of this thing once it comes out, because I know Mezco just loves... Uh, releasing these things quickly, quote unquote. So let's move on to the next set. And the next set is the Godzilla vs. Hedora 5.XL three figure box set. And this one retails for about $65 and is still on pre order, the wait list kind of thing. Um, but basically, this is Godzilla vs. Hedora when he, Godzilla when he fights Hedora in 1971. And it features three figures, Godzilla himself, Hedorah, and his flying form. Which I think we can stumble upon a photo right here. So, already I can see this set has a lot to offer. It has the flying form of Hedorah, has Hedorah himself, including his battle damage eye, or I think that's just his eye blade, his eye beam, Godzilla himself with a new head sculpt, and uh, I think a new tail sculpt too. I think the rest is just the same though. Um, including his two, um, moving on, uh, his, uh, and all the several buildings, and, you know, just all of that goodness, minus that, um, you know, it, this whole package looks great, and Godzilla even features his battle damage eye when he just gets, um, globbed on the face. Am I gonna pick this setup? Well, the price again is a little high, but I think the fact that you're getting three figures, multiple accessories for almost all of them, and four replica buildings, this price already has my attention. And the fact that these things are about like $20, $25 in quality each, so you're getting $25, $25, that's $50, and then like another $10 for, $50, say another $15 for all the accessories and buildings and whatnot yeah count me in so i'm definitely going to be hitting uh, buying this when it hits store shelves i don't think i'm going to be joining the wait list but you know we'll see what happens and the third and final 5.xl figure is this one which is the blue godzilla sdcc exclusive um I definitely want this. I really do. I think that after I was really impressed by the Battle Box, which I was the first one on YouTube to ever review it and make like, I think I now have made seven videos of it. Like, geez. This looks spectacular. And I really wanted to accompany my other Godzillas. The problem is, I have no way of getting it. This was only released to SDCC um, people, like people who were at the convention. And unfortunately, I was not there, and Mezco never dropped this online, unlike the Battle Box. Probably because the Battle Box sold better than this, I'm guessing. But, like, I would absolutely scoop this up. I might actually contact Mezco, see if I can get my hands on this, because I would really want this thing. It belongs in my collection. Not to mention I'm a fan of Blue Godzilla, so hey, this one will fit the bill. Um, I'm going to also maybe track one down on eBay, but knowing eBay prices, they just don't agree with me, um, or agree with anyone in general, but I'll keep on the lookout for this one. Okay, so do forgive me, I completely forgot about this one, but this is actually the, um, the Terra Mecha Godzilla set. Godzilla here himself kind of reminds me of the Bank 74 from Diamond Select. I think it was the 74. Yeah, you're definitely 74. Mecha Godzilla actually looks like a miniature version of the vinyl, and King Caesar is actually looking pretty unique. Um, this whole thing honestly looks really cool. There's sadly no more details about this, but I'll definitely uh, pick it up when it releases, probably next year, because Mezco loves to release things on time, quote unquote again. This guy I also want to talk about, the Ultimate Godzilla. Free shipping is contagious to the U.S., um, so if you live in the U.S., you don't have to pay much more than the already hefty price tag of almost 500 dang dollars. Um... Wow, that's expensive. I know it's like really big, but like, eh, I mean, this is like literally almost twice the size of Kong, so is it really worth it? I mean, probably is. 
but this thing looks absolutely spectacular. It has movie accurate sounds, realistic plastic eyes, 10 points of articulation, uh, movable jaw, light up dorsal fins, light up mouth, 33 inches from tail teeth to tail, which if I know, if, if I remember correctly, that would make this thing the longest, not the tallest, maybe not even the biggest, even though this thing is pretty chunky, the longest Godzilla, no, wait, hold on, no, that honor would go to someone else, never mind, um, but basically, am I gonna get this? No. There is no way I'm gonna be able to afford that. Unless someone in my family, or friends, group, whatever, is somehow nice enough to get me this thing, there is no way I'm gonna be able to afford that price tag. I'd have to sell my kidneys, wait for them to heal back, and then sell my kidneys again in order to buy this thing. Like, th that's how much we're dealing with. Now, this last one doesn't have any more details, but we can definitely um, see that this one is well, amazing. Uh, credit to the original photographer, though. Uh, this is the Mezco's new line of Mezco's Kaiju Collective, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Um, it's 8 inches tall, 14 inches from teeth to tail, seamless body, to over 24 points of articulation, movie accurate details, and movable jaw, and much more. License, pending license or approval. This is the figure I wanted for who knows how long? Ever since Mezco dropped the King Kong of Skull Island, I wanted a figure like this. Mezco did a phenomenal job with their other Godzillas in the Kong. This is what I needed. Now, of course, I wasn't expecting the seamless body, but I'm kind of worried about that. See, if you guys don't know, there exists an old series called Micro Man, and it was kind of like the same thing, where it was like um, a series of... A uh, figure kind of ball joints. It was like a figure within a figure. It was like a whole thing of ball joints inside of this and it seems to be the same case except on a much bigger level. The difference is I don't think that this thing is going to last because of the fact that it's seamless and it's like rubber. At least it looks to be rubber. I really just think that over time you keep playing with this thing it's just gonna break down, wear down. It's just not gonna be good. So I highly just, if Mezco plans to make like a more clean version of this, like please do. I, 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 I like the seamless body idea, but just, I don't mind gaps. I'm used to them. You own a bunch of NECA and Monster Arts figures for a reason, you end up getting used to it. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel and I'll be putting out more Mezco content as soon as these figures drop when they drop. Uh, see you guys later. Peace out, everyone. Peace out, everyone.